Today I'm going to show you how I make cultured butter. And this is the final product. And everything that you'll need to make it. I use a mixer. You got cream, salt, if you want salted butter, spatula, and then um, a buttermilk culture if you want to uh, make cultured butter. And the reasons why you'd want to make the butter on your own instead of buying it at the store is because you can get a much better quality butter. If you can get a hold of good raw cream from cows that are grazing on grass, your butter will be really yellow if it's from summer or fall milk. And also you can culture it yourself and because it's raw it has tons of good enzymes and more vitamins than anything you can possibly buy at the store and it's just delicious. It makes your food taste so good. You don't even have to be a good cook and your food tastes good. Alright, what I want to show you is this is my um, cultured cream. I separated this from my cow's milk and what I did was I let it sit overnight in, that, in a sunny window um, and I added about two tablespoons of buttermilk to it. And what happens is, is it thickens up really, I don't know if you can see that, it looks like butter almost already, a really, really thick cream. So thick it sticks on my my spatula. And if you don't have, um, anyway, so you can go to the store and get buttermilk to add to this to make it, like to culture it. Or I got some at New England Cheese Making Company and it's a starter that once you make it, you save some for your next batch and then you don't have to keep buying the starter. So I'm just going to place this cream in my bowl and get started. So we have our cultured cream in our mixer and all we're going to do is turn it on low and this uh, cream, I put it in the refrigerator pretty briefly for about an hour or two because um, it was at room temperature. You, it turns into butter most easily when the cream is between 58 degrees and 62 degrees. So if you have heard the old stories about people turning butter forever and it not turning into butter for a long, long time, it's usually just the temperature. It needs to be a certain temperature before it'll separate. So um, all we do is I turn it on a very the lowest setting that I have, and I have the cake batter attachment on there. And you see it's kind of getting thicker. It's probably going to turn pretty quickly. You'll be able to see when it starts turning. And so this butter was collected from fall, fall milk from our Jersey cow. And it's going to be really yellow and beautiful. And butter in traditional societies, I have to read you why butter is better. There's an article on Weston A. Price website that you got to go check out. And it's called Butter, Why Butter is Better. And there's, there's just so many reasons. It protects against diseases. It's very high in vitamins A, D, and E. And A and D, the vitamins in butter, are essential to the proper absorption of calcium and hence necessary for strong bones and teeth. It helps in preventing osteoporosis. It's anti-carcinogenic, helps prevent tooth decay. Wait, as I'm reading this, do you see how it's starting to turn? So it's getting really close and it's starting to sound sloppy. So I gotta turn it off. And it's it looks like it's made. I'm gonna push down the sides. See that was pretty quick. That was like one minute. And it was just because the temperature was right. So otherwise you just you know, it might take a little bit longer. So I'm gonna turn this on again. Make sure it's already all made. Yep, it's separated. <laughs> Jumping out of there. So now we're going to strain it. Once the butter butter is um, changed from cream and it's you've noticed it separated and it looks it looks like that, pretty clumpy, and it's got the buttermilk around and it's still in there. This is what I use to strain it out. I just use a a butter a batter bowl and a spaghetti filter, and then this is just um, like a cheesecloth. Um, butter, it's just kind of a cloth that the butter won't go through and it'll strain out the buttermilk, which down here is going to be the buttermilk, and up here is where we're going to keep get the butter. So all I do is press it and you'll notice the buttermilk starts falling through. So 
You just kind of do that until all the buttermilk gets through. And once you get to a point where it's mainly just the butter on top, you take really cold water and you actually put that in the butter and you wash the butter out to get all the buttermilk out. Because if you leave any buttermilk in here, it'll, it'll uh, spoil really quick. So I've gotten most of the buttermilk out of our butter and this is what it looks like. Isn't that beautiful? That's cultured real buttermilk. That's old. That's the real deal right there. I think that stuff's delicious. It makes really good baking products. And okay, so this is our butter and notice how it still has a little bit of buttermilk in it. So all we're going to do is this is really cold water and I'm just pretty much going to wash it with cold water. And you know like um, if you ever want to put like butter in your popcorn, you melt it and it's really runny. Well, the temperature that butter's at depends, uh, you know, it'll either be solid like this or it'll be runny. So the goal is always to try to keep the temperature a little bit colder so it doesn't start getting runny. So I'm just going to do this until I get all the buttermilk out of the butter. And then I'm going to add some salt because I found that adding a little bit of salt um, helps the butter keep butter keep a little bit better and I use a good quality salt like a Celtic sea salt so you're adding good minerals to your butter. Once you have all the buttermilk pressed out and you've added the optional salt your butter will look like this and it's ready to go into a mold. So you can use a glass mold there's a lot of different um, that's a really easy one that's just a Pyrex They've also got really neat wooden butter molds. That This one's from Germany, and it's got a little rooster design back there. And then this is an old antique one. And the butter goes in there, and then you can press it out. And what you want to do with all the wooden molds is you want to soak them in cold water. And that's really important, because if you don't, you'll never get the butter out of it. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to use this mold. And all you do is you just grab a handful of butter and you just start pressing it into the mold. You just do it till it gets to the top. And then what you'll do is you'll refrigerate this for 24 hours until it gets hard, like the consistency of butter you're used to. And then once it's been refrigerated, you can turn it over and knock and it'll come right out. So I just want to show you how beautiful that color is because this is my fall butter from my cow. So I got a white piece of paper here. I don't know if you can see that, but that is just beautifully yellow, orange. The goal is the more yellow, the more orange, the more vitamins it has in it, and the better it is for you. So I hope this encourages you to make your own butter, because making it is actually the best quality you can get if you can find some good raw milk cream and then culture it. That stuff right there, that's a superfood.